The sheer scale of the galaxy in Mass Effect Andromeda is enough to make you stand and gawk, open-mouthed and utterly awestruck. But even in this colossal volume of space, tangled with multiple quests and storylines, there are a few crucial ways you can make the game your own, tailored for you like a Savile Row cut spacesuit. Ah, time for introductions. First and foremost, you need to spend some time chiseling out your own perfect Pathfinder from the digital sandstone. You can choose to be either one of the Rider Twins before heavily customising their face, hair and finer points, ending up with a completely badass look all of your own design. You can then change their first name and even manually alter the appearance of your twin or simply leave them in the lap of the digital gods. <gasps> Before you launch into the campaign itself, you can also give Ryder a head start with training. Select from one of the six options here to give humanity's great hope one starting power and two unlocked skills to complement the playstyle you'd like to employ early on. Don't worry though, anything you plump for here is just a leg up and won't tie you into anything later on in the game. Once you're doing some actual pathfinding, it's also hugely important to consider the kind of firepower you want to pack. You can choose from Milky Way, Helios Cluster or Remnant Technology and there are four weapon categories you can bring to bear. Pistols, shotguns, assault rifles and sniper rifles. But as with so much in Andromeda, you don't need to worry about locking yourself into a particular progression tree. All weapons are available to you throughout the campaign, so you'll never get bored of delivering intergalactic gunishment. They weren't kidding about the cat. You can further hone Ryder's combat potency by spending points on skills. These sit across three distinct categories. Biotic skills enable you to harness the immense power of dark energy, bending gravity and mass to your will with devastating consequences. Tech skills give you access to more strategic and experimental offensive options, like assault turrets. Finally, adding combat skills will help you improve your weapon handling and damage potential, turning Ryder into the most deadly soldier this side of the galactic plane. We need to defend both sides or they'll flank us! As you develop your skills throughout the game, you'll also unlock seven Pathfinder profiles. These work to complement your skill selection, adding bonuses to various attributes. As you invest more points into that area of skill, you can unlock higher level profiles, adding yet more buffs. You can then hot swap between these seven profiles whenever you want, so you'll never paint yourself into a corner, and you can also create favourites. These configurations allow you to map three skills and one profile to a slot, and at any time in combat you can then switch between them to change your approach as the battle evolves, with a slight cooldown between swaps. Let us know how you're getting on with Mass Effect Andromeda in the comments below.